Hello everyone, today I'm working on a 2003 GMC Denali with the 6.0 liter engine. Uh, I am going to be replacing the alternator, which is located on the driver's side right here. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to disconnect your negative and battery terminals here. Um, also, um, if you were to put a multimeter, uh, get a voltage reading off of this terminal uh, and grounding to the alternator, uh, you'll notice that there is still a bit of power in the system. So what I did to drain the battery fully is I just left the door open um, to help uh, get that battery or to get all the power out of the system. Uh, next thing you'll want to do is you'll come up here uh, to the plenum here. These are eight millimeter. You'll want to pull loosen this. It's just one of them. And then you'll lift up and you'll pull straight out toward you. So we'll pull this out of the way here. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to come over here and right down here. There's one here and then one on the back side there. Those are also eight millimeter. They do not just fall out um, if you loosen them all the way. They have a rubber grommet on them that uh, keeps them in place. So you'll want to re uh, loosen both of those. They're both eight millimeter as well. Um, I pulled that up. And Voila, there's been an animal in here. But uh, I just had a friend that broke down and uh, their alternator has failed. It is not charging the battery fully. I ran a few tests and confirmed that the alternator is bad. Uh, next you'll wanna do is for your intake here, you'll wanna loosen this. That's an eight millimeter. And then come over here and loosen this. Um, and then you'll pull this out to get it loose and then you're going to have a fastener right here just have to pull this plastic piece this way and then the last piece you'll move is this here you just lift the whole piece out like this I loosened all these to make this simple for everyone all right so next thing you'll want to do is we want to remove the serpentine belt so in order to do that you have a bolt right here on this tensioner. I believe if you turn it to your right, it loosens the belt. You see it kinking up there. That gets you a better view. So you can see it kinking up. Um, if you pull it that way and then use your other hand to remove the belt, uh, it'll just slide right off of your idler pulley there and then you can remove the belt. Once you have the belt removed, you can then come over here and there is a electrical connector right here on the top of the alternator. I'll show you this direction. You see that there is a tab right here. If you pull out and up, this will remove. And then you'll want to come over here and disconnect the main terminal going to the alternator. That does look like a 10 millimeter. So go ahead and remove that nut and set it aside. All right, once you have this taken off, it was a 10 millimeter. Uh, once you have your main power removed, go ahead and come up to the front of the alternator here and you have two bolts running through. Uh, these are both 15 millimeter. So now you'll want to remove both of these. All right, so the threads on these are pretty long. Once you get out to the end, um, you can see that you'll be backing it out for quite some time. I did use a ratchet instead of a wrench, so it would not take as long. Uh, remove both of these, set them in a safe spot, and then uh, every you could use a little pry bar or something to stick right in here to get it out of here. Uh, let's see if I have. I'm gonna see if my little wrench will work here. Stick that right in there. So you can see it just pops right up there, and then you can use both of your hands to wiggle it out. And there we have it. Alternator is removed. Now I'll go get a new one and turn this one in as a core. All right, so they brought me the new alternator, the owners of this vehicle. Uh, they're just my neighbors that I'm helping out. So we're gonna take it and we're going to line it all up here. Uh, so it'll take some wiggling. And then uh, once you get it lined up and you get your bolts through here, 
uh, you'll want to torque them down to about 37 foot pounds and then you can reinstall your belt when you're lining this up be sure not to hit the housing with any uh, metal objects you could pry down on it a little bit or you could just wiggle it and force it slowly um, but you can see I was able to wiggle it there and then you can use the bolt to line up the holes so I'm putting quite a bit of force on them and then it is very important that you get these bolts started by hand before using any tools um, I could feel that this bolt is started um, I already started that back one there and then I'll put I'll use a ratchet on it in just a minute so we have both these done again torque them down to about 35 uh, to 37 foot pounds and then you can start reconnecting all of your electrical. Snap that in. Your new alternator should have come with a new nut. Recommend using the new one. Um, reattach this. So when reinstalling your serpentine belt, you'll want to come down here uh, with your wrench. And you'll want to have your wrench in the furthest downward position possible. That way, when you're lifting it up, um, you give yourself the maximum amount of slack in the belt um, before hitting this upper radiator hose. So, and then uh, you'll want to go through each pulley and make sure that your belt is lined up in the grooves so you, you don't have it sticking over or um, cockeyed on there. So, all right, go ahead and do that. And then we will start reinstalling the plenum. When reinstalling this plenum, I just went in reverse order, started with this side, made sure that was lined up in the hole, and then made sure that was completely covering that. Again, these are 8 millimeter. if you want to just tighten them up. They don't need to be crazy tight or anything. Just showing you here, when you're reinstalling these, these don't come out easily, so you shouldn't have to worry about them falling out. So they're in place. We'll set this in there, covering everything. And uh, I mean, they, it should be pretty close to lining up. Uh, these uh, eight, are eight millimeter. You have one here and one in the back. So go ahead and get those started uh, with whatever tools you're using. And then once you have both of those started, you can come up top here. Make sure you're not pinching any wires or anything. Now that I have the two lower eight millimeter bolts tightened. I'm going to come up here to the top. Um, there's no nut that has to go on either one of those. You'll take your plenum piece and line it up in there. It only goes one way. And then I'm going to try to hand start this. You'll feel it when it's in the hole. And then go ahead and tighten that up all the way. Uh, this top one looks like it is an 8mm. Once you have your plenums installed, go ahead and reconnect your battery. Uh, connect your positive cable first. And then finish with your negative terminal. Uh, the car alarm could go off at this point. Um, the lights came on automatically. So now we will go in and we'll fire it up. And then I will retest the, the alternator and the battery. Um, and see what kind of voltage I'm getting out of the alternator. All right, so I have everything installed. It is running smoothly. Um, I am testing about 14.4 volts uh, coming out of the alternator. Um, I expect it may get a little bit higher um, while it's recharging the battery. It was down to about nine volts and it's a brand new battery uh, from AutoZone. So, Hopefully this video has helped. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.